What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Another episode of Skate Hacks. Today we're doing the Smith Grind and we got some homies of mine on the clips today. Shout out to Daniel and Terry for doing the tricks for this one. We're talking about Smith Grinds and it's a long requested trick. I actually did backsmiths before frontsmiths. I tend to prefer backsmiths um, so I can put the link in the description below for that. So right off the bat, just getting straight to it. In my honest opinion, I think before you give this trick a go, you should know how to 50-50 for sure. It helps a lot too if you know how to lip slide. In my opinion, lip sliding is easier than this since you just have to have more confidence and just ollie over the rail. It's very similar to a board slide, but you have to have a lot more confidence and commitment for a lip slide but not quite like a smith grind because with the smith grind you have to be more precise you have to be more accurate and um, just the little things that could go wrong on a smith grind are a lot more devastating uh, i've had a lot worse bails on a smith grind than with most other tricks so like i said 50 50s lip slides also you know being able to ollie over the rail that helps too this is a hard trick to to really just kind of bail out on you just go for it or you don't so you would approach the rail kind of like you would for a 50 50 or, or a lip slide and what makes this trickier is that you just got to get that back truck on and the rest of the board the uh, the middle of the board is just sliding down the rail diagonally uh, similar to a lip slide but you got that back truck locked on the main point with this trick is to have most of your weight on the back foot and some of you may be thinking well you know if you have all your weight on the back foot it would be a 5-0 wouldn't it and technically yes but also no because if you put all of your weight on the back foot and you have your back foot towards the end of the tail then yeah you'd pretty much be getting into a 5-0 but you don't necessarily do that with a smith grind uh, if you notice on most smith grinds when you if you pause it, you'll see that most people don't have their back foot way on the back of the tail. It's more so kind of on the bolts. And if you have your weight resting on those bolts like that, it's not going to shoot you up into a 5-0. Um, you just want to make sure that the majority of your weight is on the back foot and not just to help guide the trick along, but also to help you dismount when you get to the end of the rail. Because another huge issue is just not... Uh, not having your weight in the right place when you slide off the rail. Um, if you have your weight leaning too much forward, your nose is probably going to hit the ground first, and that's a huge problem with this trick also. So, um, I would just say to approach the rail with a slight angle, ollie as high as you would for a lip slide, but just don't turn as much. Make sure you have most of that weight on the back foot, let it lock in. Um, it can also help if you know how to do a feeble grind. Uh, I think feeble grinds are kind of less intimidating um, than smith grinds. You know, even though it's basically the same lock-in, you're just coming from the other side. The, the main points of this trick are to come at a, a slight angle. Make sure you don't pop too close to the rail because also coming up short is, uh, is probably the worst thing you can do for this trick. It's better to, to overshoot it into a lip slide, in my opinion, than it is to come up short. Um, not ollie high enough hit the rail and then the rest is history so um very very basic trick just intimidating as well um the intimidation is is uh, most of this uh, what makes this trick difficult not really uh, the fact that it's super complicated it's just about precision uh just like it is with a lot of other tricks in skating but this is a, a very s uh, basic staple skateboarding trick and um like I said, just mostly about um, making sure you're, you got precision, you're, you're accurate with this one. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you guys with frontside smith grinds. You already know what to do. Leave those comments down below for future skate hack suggestions, future videos you want me to cover on certain tricks. Thank you guys for watching as always. Catch you next time.